thank you so much for coming to Tricross Zoo today. My name's Ranger Lucy, and it's my pleasure to talk to you guys about our wonderful Sumatran tigers. So here at Tricross, we do have two tigers. We have a male and a female, but tigers do not live together in the wild. They don't really like each other that much. So tigers here are kept separate. So currently we've got the female in the front enclosure, the boy, he's in the back enclosure, which is just as nice, just as spacious, it's just kept in the back. Now at Tricross we have the lovely Sumatran tiger, and these guys are the smallest of wow. all tiger species. Wow. Tiger. They can weigh up to 140 kg, which is very, very big, until you realise in tiger terms it's not that big. The biggest tiger, which is the Amur tiger, it's also called the Siberian tiger, weighs around 250 wow. kg. So it just goes to show how small these guys are compared to their bigger cousins. They are also the last tigers that live in Indonesia. We used to have two others, the Javan and the Bali tiger, but sadly those guys have become completely extinct. They don't exist anywhere on the world anymore. And we don't want the same thing happening to our lovely Sumatran tiger. Now, our lovely Sumatran tiger has got a very important job. And this is because they are apex predators. So if you are an apex predator, it means that nothing is going to eat you. Nothing eats a tiger. Nothing is going to want to mess with them. They are at the very top of that food chain. So our tiger's job then is very, very important. Has anyone seen Bambi? Anyone seen Bambi? <laughs> we kind of seen Bambi or yeah. heard Bambi. Okay, good, excellent. So our tiger's job is to eat Bambi. Because if we had too many Bambis, they'd eat all the grass, they'd take up space, they would affect the ecosystem. So our tiger's job is to keep the populations of small herbivores and sometimes large herbivores nice and stable. These guys would eat Bambi, not that type of deer, but they'd eat wild deer and they would eat wild pigs as well. So in order to catch all these animals, tigers have got some fantastic adaptations. So a bit more of a recent film now. Has anyone seen How to Train Your Dragon? Hands up. Anybody? It's okay if you have it, it's okay. So in that film, Toothless the Dragon, he's got retractable teeth, yeah? Tigers, they've got retractable claws. So they can actually put their claws back into their paws and this helps to keep them nice and sharp. If we had our claws out all the time, they would get very, very blunt and worn down. And as we are a tiger, we're gonna to wanna to be grabbing our prey with our big sharp claws. In the bedroom, you can see we've got some logs and sticks out. That is to help our tiger scratch their claws and keep their claws nice and sharp. So they do have very, very sharp claws. Now they've also got really big teeth. Some archer and tiger teeth are over three inches long. It's about 3.2, 3.5. For visual comparison, they're about that big. In between my fingertips, really big teeth. Wow. Now the reason they've got really big teeth is because they're gonna be biting the neck area. Now if anyone's been down to Bragate Park and looked at a deer their neck is actually really thick and it's really muscular so that's why they've got really big teeth to bite into that thick thick muscly area now we've also got whiskers do we have any cat owners kind of? cat okay good 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 so where on your pet cat would you find the whiskers go on you can all shout this out anybody nose yeah okay nose face excellent so tigers have got whiskers on the nose and the face. They've also got whiskers all over the body, including the back of their front legs. And whiskers aren't just for show, they are really important because whiskers can sense vibrations. So they, they can pinpoint their prey before their prey is even aware that there is a tiger in the vicinity. So whiskers are really important as well. Finally, we have got the most iconic part of a tiger. What do you think when you think tiger? Starts with S. Stripes, yes. So stripes are really important for camouflage. Now when we think of camouflage, a lot of the time we think of prey hiding from predator, which is true. 
but it works the other way around as well. These guys want to stay hidden from their dinner, otherwise the dinner would know where they are. So stripes are really, really cool because they kind of break up the tiger's body pattern. Now when we look at the tiger, it's very orange, but prey animals aren't going to see it as orange, they're going to see it as green because they can't see orange like we can. So imagine you're a deer, you look at the tiger, it's all green and then it's got loads of stripes on it. So you would actually really struggle to make out the tiger. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. So, so that, here she comes. So you can see she's got very, very bold and orange stripes. Tiger stripes are also unique to the individual. So her stripes will be completely different to any other tiger. And Sumatran tigers have the thinnest of all stripes of any tiger. So if you were to see a Bengal, they'd have a lot chunkier stripes. These guys, very, very slender stripes. Now, unfortunately, our lovely Sumatran tigers are critically endangered. There's only about 400 of them left in the wild, but numbers do change. And that is because tigers face lots of threats. So the first one is habitat loss. If we cut down these guys' habitat, they've got no home and neither has their food. So that affects them massively. We've also got poaching for the fur, the skin, the bones and the teeth. That is a really big issue. Grown-ups might remember Tiger King, or watching Tiger King. Mm -hmm. Yeah, personally I'm trying to forget the events of Tiger King. But it is true, in some places they do have big cats and tigers as pets. And a lot of the time it involves taking them away from the wild as pups and then sending them on, which isn't very good. There is some good news. Our tigers are part of our breeding program. So hopefully in the future, We'll have some beautiful baby tigers. And there's even more good news because we are a conservation charity. So by your, your guys' trip coming here today, you've helped us in our conservation mission. So we've actually all helped the tigers. So thank you very, very much. Our next talk's gonna be at 11, and that is all around the pants. If anyone has got any tiger questions, just give me a shout. I'll be here for a few minutes. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.